Okay, this video we will look at how to use this remote and uh, this remote. And this is a RF remote uh, for 33 MHz and this is IR remote. You can see this is IR and this is RF antenna. And this is a TV remote. So you can see I can uh, country this board. This is my IR remote uh, for 3, 2, 1. And when I country out R uh, and RF. Also, I can use this. Uh, this is IR. You can see I can turn on relay one, turn off relay one. I define uh, this key three is turn off, turn on relay two, and the four is turn off and uh, turn on, turn off. So uh, this can have uh, two different ways to control your relay output. And in this video, I will show you how to do this. And because we have designed the server board uh, include a ESP32. The ESP32, you can see at here. Uh, you can see there are ESP32. That is work for decode. This is IF, IF receive module, and this is IR receive. So when I press this key, and the signal will received by this receive module. And this ESP32 will decode and send the message uh, to this CPU. That is the Kinkoni ARM CPU. And when I press this button, like this, it turn on, already one, the IR signal will uh, send to this receive module, this IR receive module. Also, the ESP32 will decode the IR signal and uh, send the message and, uh, to this CPU. So let's look at uh, this step. Uh, the first step, uh, we should install the ESP32 USB driver for the server because you can see here is the USB cable. So we, we need to install uh, the driver firstly and download this file, this is driver, and install it, install this ESP32 driver. And uh, you can see this device manager in Windows that have a port. Now I can connect with this, this cable. Uh, this is Type-C USB. I connect it, then you Windows PC will find this COM6, uh, maybe another COM number, uh, just will generate a new COM port. And now you need to use an Arduino IDE code to download our demo source code and to change some, something. You can download the Arduino code just from this URL and you will download the, nearly, uh, the newest uh, tools from this Arduino website. And after you download, you just need to configure the ESP32. Uh, this we have, we have showed uh, as, as this article. So you can do this step by step. So you can see how to download and how to set. And it's, it's easy, not difficult. And just uh, uh, install the ESP32 development board. And this is install the Arduino and configure the ESP32 for the Arduino. And then you can install RC switch Arduino library, the RC switch. Because we use this library to decode the RF signal. So you can see the manager library. We can input RC switch. Uh, this is RC switch uh, we have installed. Uh, you just uh, uh, click this install online before you first time to use. And uh, then you can see uh, this step uh, 6 have complete. And you can download this source code we have write uh, for decode the IF and decode the IR demo source code. So you can download. And after you download, you can open it. Uh, just you will find this source code. Then you just need to decode and to replace the key code. Because every button, you can see, uh, there are have many buttons. The different button will have different uh, key code. So we need to find out the key code and just replace this number. Uh, like this is channel 1, and this is channel 2, and until channel 16. So you can replace this one, and this is the command sent to the CPU that uh, talking uh, the relay, which relay, uh, like this is relay 4, and this is relay 5, that is for talking. 
So we can run in, uh, just upload and download to your server. And we can click this server monitor uh, when the program is running. So I can press this button one, and you can see uh, this is a code. That is code for my button one. Here is the number of button one, and I can press this button. Uh, this is button two, you can see this code, key code, and this button, button two. So you just decode, uh, you can see your remote, because why we use this ESP32 to decode? You can use any remote, so you can just find out a 433 megahertz remote, and press the key, and you will see the key code, and just replace at this section, so you can use your, uh, your own uh, remote. And this, such as we have used this sound off because we have used this uh, channel one, but this time I want to use this sound off uh, remote. Uh, this you can see the button I press. Uh, but how to in, uh, press this button to control the layer one? You can see I can clear and press this button one. You can see uh, this is the code. Uh, this code for sound off and the button one. So I just need to copy this code and paste, replace this code, just paste, and you can down upload it, the freeware to the board. Then you will find uh, this button will be used uh, to continue the real one. Just wait for a moment. Okay, let's test it. You can see I can I press this button, and then the relay one will be on. And this is the switch panel. Off, on, and off. Also, you will see this mobile phone when I press on and off. The state will update. And this time, now you can press this button. Uh, this will not work. So the key code has replaced this one and instead of this old one. So you can choose any remote, uh, just detect, detect the key code firstly, and then you just set on your Arduino ID code. So this section is for IF remote, uh, for this type of remote and this type of remote. And, and you can see here is the IR, that is IR. Also is as seen as this function, just replace the command. You can see this is my TV remote. You can use uh, maybe uh, other device, just IR remote. When you press this button, we can open this uh, server monitor. And you can see I can press this button one, just the section to this way, because they are have a receive, IR receive module. You can see I can press one. That is decode the IR signal. Because we, uh, we use this, NEC code. The NEC code is widely used. Many TV and DVD use the NEC code. And uh, we can see this command. Uh, this is the command. Uh, just uh, you can see when I press the button one, and I can press the button two. Uh, this is the command. And the button three, and you can see the command. And the button four, and you can see the command. So you just replace uh, this command uh, to this command. Uh, that is for turn on relay one. This this protocol is turn on relay one, and this protocol is turn off relay one. So there are different uh, protocol for demo show you. Uh, that is for talking. That is for talking. Just one key for on and off change the state, and that is for one key is for turn on relay. And another key is for turn off relay. So this key will not just, I can press one time, you can press again, again, again. That's just turn on relay one. And this button two is turn off relay one. That is this command. So I can press, it's turn off, but I can press again, 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 again. Just only have send the turn off relay, this, this command. So you can just record, uh, decode uh, the command and decode the different command. This is a different command, and the replace at this if command. So that will be 
uh, for 16 channel on and off as at this section. So you just uh, change this code, uh, like this key code, key code, key code, key code, and uh, you can detect by your mobile uh, by your IR remote and replace it, and then you can press this upload. So that uh, the functions where well, as you uh, IR remote uh, how to country maybe you press this button and to turn on sound release not only one release sound release and uh, turn off uh, sound release just it's up to you so this is how to use this IR remote and the IF remote uh, to for the case 868 server that is why we designed this ESP32 module to decode the signal so that you can use this code to do anything uh, for any since model set by yourself. Okay, thanks for watching.